Over the years, we've seen a lot of 2K creators step away from the game, and some of them just step away from YouTube as a platform in general. We saw this happen a lot with NBA 2K18, and now we're seeing it happen with NBA 2K20. The person I'm going to be covering in today's video was arguably one of the biggest names in the community when it came to my team, and that person is going to be Jesser the Laser. I think this is a pretty interesting conversation to have because Jesser is not the only ex-2K YouTuber who we've seen step away from creating NBA 2K20 content this year, but he is for sure one of the most popular names. Jesser, or what most people have known him by throughout the years, Jesser the Laser, has been extremely absent in terms of creating NBA 2K content. Now, obviously, Jesser is still posting content pretty regularly, it's just not really 2K related, which is interesting because Jesser was a part of that group that was flown out to play NBA 2K20 early. Now, with that conversation comes the whole conversation of contracts with 2K, which I'm pretty sure 90% of them who actually flown out to that event probably did sign a contract to promote NBA 2K20 and talk good about the game. But it seems as if Jesser wasn't really feeling it this year, like, at all. I don't think he's uploaded over 5 videos of NBA 2K20, and the game's been out for a little while now. And we all remember how amazing Jesser's My Team's videos were back in the day. Now, Jesser did address the state of NBA 2K20 with a video titled, NBA 2K20 is broken, hashtag fix 2K20. And he throws some pretty interesting jabs at the game, referring to it as NBA 2K19.5. NBA 2K19.5! I mean, NBA 2K20, it's out, and there's a lot of problems. Let's talk about it. The other day, I was like, let me live stream, right? I did a live stream. I was like, I'm going to stream for like three hours, you know, do some My Team Unlimited. And this is what happened. First game I join, my opponent is AFK. They are literally not playing. So obviously, I'm making easy buckets. I'm winning. Of course, we play an AFK guy. And then this happened. Okay. Oh, he left. I waited in the loading screen for about five minutes. And I got a loss. How am I not? How did I get a loss? How so throughout the video, Jesser expresses how broken NBA 2K20 is and how much he isn't enjoying the game mode at all. But in all fairness, I'm pretty sure this video was made at the very early stages of NBA 2K20, and we all know how broken NBA 2K20 was upon release in every single game mode and apparently my team it was very bad as you saw in that clip jesser got the loss for his opponent quitting the game imagine playing a game up until the end investing like 10 to 15 minutes just for your opponent to rage quit and for you to get the loss that's probably very frustrating to deal with now, NBA 2K20 has improved on some things. It obviously is still not a polished game, but it has improved, especially in the My Team game mode for the most part when it comes to bugs and when it came to issues like that. Now, this is obviously the main reason why Jesser does not upload 2K because he just simply does not enjoy it anymore. But the main reason we don't see NBA 2K20 on Jester's channel anymore is because he's focusing his content around 2Hype, which in terms of business and growing a channel is probably the better idea, especially this year where NBA 2K20 really isn't that popular, especially when it comes to YouTubers directly uploading the gameplay. A crowd of popular YouTubers living in the same house, creating content together is probably better than playing and uploading a game that you don't enjoy or think is good. Although Jesser's My Team videos and Wazers were super entertaining back in the day, I can almost 100% guarantee that we won't see any 2K content from him anytime soon, which is pretty unfortunate. For the sake of this video, I would like to leave you guys with a nice conversation piece because I was thinking about this while I was making this video. 
NBA 2K20 has literally flown people out and paid for people's accommodation to attend NBA 2K20's launch party and promote the game throughout the year. Now, the fact that people who actually went to the event aren't even uploading the game kind of speaks about how the game is being looked at, especially this year. There are people who literally went to the NBA 2K20 event, probably discussed some sort of a contract to promote NBA 2K20 throughout the year, probably got paid, I don't know the exact details, nobody does except for the people who actually signed the contracts, but the fact that these content creators aren't even consistently uploading NBA 2K20 is a little worrisome. Because, like I said earlier, Jester the Laser is not the only person who went to that release party that does not upload NBA 2K20. And he probably got paid to go to that event, which is insane to think about. NBA 2K20 can't even pay people to actually upload their game throughout the year. That's how boring the game is. But with that being said, I just wanted to leave you guys with that conversation piece and wanted your guys' opinion on that exact topic. Now, with that being said, if you guys watched Jester the Laser back in the day with his My Team videos, leave a number three in the comments. Thank you guys very much for watching the channel. I appreciate the support. Don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you guys next time and peace.